Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ, long time no see. With the release of Blender 4.1 Alpha, it is now possible to apply geometry nodes to the grease pencil. So I wanted to experiment. This is a scene I created with Remy and I'll call the dog Ranger, yes. So to add this effect, you have to go to edit, preferences, and then interface. And then in the interface, click developer extras and then experimental and then make sure you turn on the grease pencil 3.0 oh no my scene completely disappeared so this looks like a bug that hopefully gets fixed soon okay i'm gonna try this way i'm just going to open up a blank scene and now i'm gonna go through the process again and Add the Grease Pencil 3.0. And now I'm going to add my good friend Suzanne. Just go to add Grease Pencil and then there she is. I'm going to click the Geometry Nodes at the top. I added a Dope Sheet at the bottom because I want one of my experiments to be an animation. I am going to click new and if you've noticed on the right it created a geometry nodes modifier. I still have a lot to learn about geometry nodes but I know eh, the basics. Why does Suzanne keep disappearing? I know this is called a node tree. For a shortcut you can press shift A or you can go over there and click add. So the first node I'm going to add is a set position. So I just go to search and just type in position. And I'm kind of creating this effect that you can kind of get with the offset modifier. Now I'm going to I actually found this by accident. I'm going to you know, shift a and add the curve info node. I'm going to plug in the random into the offset. Okay, what if I delete the curve info node and add a random value node. Mm, pretty cool. Kind of reminds me again of the offset modifier. And for the final experiment, I'm starting over and I saw the YouTube channel Open Class do this and I thought it was pretty cool. It's four different nodes. So the first node is the transform geometry. And I'm gonna put that to the side and move that over. The next node is the set position node. Next is the noise texture. I'm going to plug in that to the set position. I'm going to plug in the color to the offset.
And finally, to make this into an animation, I am going to add the scene time node. I'm going to plug in the seconds into the scale. Now I'm going to play the animation. I know I said that was my last experiment, but I want to play with another texture. What about the Voronoi texture? Let's see what that does. I'm doing the same thing I did previous with the previous node. I'm going to plug in the offset into the color and the seconds to the scale. Let's play that animation. Oh, that's interesting. Well, guys, I'm going to keep playing with this. Thank you so much for watching. This is Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.